Hey guys, this is Kim. This is going to be my first official unschooling video. I am super excited. We have been unschooling for about a week and a half now, and so far it's going absolutely amazing. Um, we submitted our letter of intent. Uh, let me see. I believe I submitted them on the 9th or the 10th. Um, because we live in New York, they request or require a letter of intent, which is pretty much a letter that's specifying that you're taking your child out of public school and you intend to instruct them via home instruction. Pretty cool, right? Ha! <laughs> a little bit. But um, anyways, I was not really all that specific about what my channel was going to be about and some of the things that I'm going to be um, posting up here. Um, so I thought I'd just get into that a little bit. <clears throat> this is going to be our actual really quick video um, because like, we're not doing anything today. We have a football game, so that's like gym on a Sunday. Pretty cool. But um, yeah, anyways, I decided when I first started homeschooling, um, like everything was very different from what I had intended last year. Last year, I wanted to go strictly by, you know, um, what they were teaching in school, how they were teaching in school, and just minus the Common Core aspect. Um, this year, I decided to go with a African-centered curriculum. And before you click out of this video or say, oh, she's not talking to me, um, some pretty cool things I thought um, about the curriculum because it is African centered and I'll get into why I chose to African center um, <clears throat> curriculum with my kids in a minute uh, but some really cool things are like um, first and foremost I'm using Kam Kamali Academy sorry <laughs> Kamali Academy um, and they have a whole store they have um, various books for workbooks for the children to work out of um, early grammar which is pretty exciting um, and it covers everything um, and I believe it's like ages five and up and then they have um, a downloadable PDF which I believe is like forty dollars which is not unreasonable and it pretty much gives you a day-by-day -day, um, like outline setup kind of thing um, for the curriculum, um, where you can go to find the references <clears throat> uh, to teach your child from home. Um, it's all some really good stuff. Um, the other thing that they have, I'm sorry, is a actual online homeschooling um, curriculum. So pretty much you sign up, and unlike a lot of the other um Places I've found, not places, but like the online curriculum that I found for homeschooling, or unschooling rather, um, this actually has uh, multiple grades for one price. So for instance, we were going to use um, Time for Learning, and um, it was going to be $50 a month, and they charged like a certain fee for each child. Um, so that's what I really liked most about it. Then the fact that they show and they have um he has videos on YouTube. Um the professor, the father, he's awesome. I don't know who he is, but he's awesome. Um uh, <laughs> he has videos on YouTube that show like different ways than what we were taught to do, like multiplication, addition, subtraction, uh fractions, percentages, like you name it, he's got it. And it's really, really, really 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 helpful I mean you know you don't have to be an African to use that kind of math you know it's just a different way of or giving your child a different perspective or how they can look at things differently rather than backwards they can go forwards like we're taught to do multiplication from right to left but with this curriculum you're do actually doing the curriculum from left to right so the multiplication excuse me is from left to right which is pretty cool um, now, getting into why I chose the African curriculum, Af African-centered curriculum this year for my children, 
And um, one of the things that I was highly disappointed in when I pulled my children out of public school was the lack of African um, history that they were learning in school. And um, I feel like a lot of people, their perspective of life and their immediate reality, um, a large portion of it comes from who they know they are, whether it be life experiences, um, family, you know, having a close knit family, um, knowing like, you know, generations back, um, you know, lineage, you know, that all plays a vital role in development. And, um, what I noticed was the lack of um, African history that's taught in the public schools is kind of almost really damaging to a lot of um, melanated children, you know. And um, even if, you know, you're not, you know, if you, you've, if you have children that are not, you know, all the way melanated, you know, if they're... I don't know, mulatto, if they're mixed, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, or if you have, you know, melanated family members, you know, even if it's not like in your immediate, you know, somewhere down the line, I feel like it is important to know that, you know, and um, they've lost a lot of that history, you know, so then you have, you know, these children who kind of look, their outlook on life is almost like, you know, it's, kind of like hopeless it almost gives them a sense of like where do I fit in in society like where's my place you know what I mean um, personally I know going to public school growing up going to public school you know the, the majority of what I learned in public school was that you know my ancestors came from slave ships you know and they picked cotton you know um, we didn't get the benefit or the privilege of learning about people like Marcus Garvey or, you know, um, Noble Drew Ali. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't want to get too much into it. But um, I, I feel like it's important. It's important for children to know um the rich culture, the rich culture, and they should know who they are, and they should know where they come from. And um, one of the things I have noticed <clears throat> since beginning this curriculum, not only behavioral changes, but um, I don't know, like the thinking aspect in the children, and how they're able to analyze things a little better. You know, they feel, it almost seems to me, like they feel like they can conquer anything. You know, we get up, we do our morning meeting, and um, you know, we have affirmations, all of that. I, I got through um, Kamali Academy online, and that's the curriculum, you know, and once they go through that and we do the affirmations, you know, it's just like focus that I've never seen before in them. Um, especially going to public school, you know. So that's just a little bit about what we're going to be having on here. Um, I lost my phone, unfortunately, for me, which I always do. Like, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached, of course. But our, um, once I do find my phone, I hope to be able to upload more videos um, we have some really exciting field trips planned this year. Um, actually, this coming week, we have a lot of awesome stuff going on. Um, try to get them some socialization, social, socialization. Um, so they're, <clears throat> oh, my computer keeps going dark. Um, so that they're able to be around children their age and not feel like they're losing out on anything. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, the very last thing I wanted to add, and I know I said it before, but I want to empath, empath, emphasize, emphasize 
where are my words today? I want to emphasize on the fact that, um, you know, just because, um, you know, some of my videos, probably the majority of them, not the majority of them, but, you know, a variation of them are going to be talking about the curriculum and it's going to be showing, you know, some of the stuff that we're working on um, in my unschooling class. You know, it's not to say that, you know, it, my channel is not for uh, certain people, you know, it's for everyone, anyone. You can take you know, anything off of my channel and, you know, apply it, you know, one of the things that I am a firm believer in is of diversity and, you know, shared culture, you know, because, <clears throat> ooh, because we live in a society now where there's a lot of, you know, diversity and, you know, intermingling of cultures. So to be able to share it, and, you know, kind of like, I don't know, learn from someone else's culture is kind of cool, you know. I don't know. I could be wrong, but, you know. Then again, I could be right. But anyways, I said this was going to be a short video, and I'm sorry, I lied. <laughs> um, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for our next video. Bye.